In this video, I want to share with you six of my favorite hidden away cafes. Now, when I say hidden away, these are places where, well, you've got to really look twice to find them, or alternatively, they're in buildings where you wouldn't necessarily expect them. So they're hidden away from everyone else finding those cafes. So quite often you'll find you can get a seat, um, you can get quite quick service, and actually it's just a really peaceful place to be. So so we're gonna start off on Piccadilly, and this is Waterstones. And the reason I've started off in Piccadilly is this, this is a really main area of London. So it's possible to find these hideaway cafes right in the center if you wanna take a break from it. So Waterstones is a fantastic bookshop. This is on about six floors. There's a couple of cafes, and there's one on the ground floor, which you'll see, which everyone goes to. This one is tucked away and hidden in the basement, and it's fantastic. So it's well worth coming down here. They do a whole selection of coffees, teas, pastries, sandwiches, you name it, they do it. Um, they've got different opening hours down here, so just check that out when you come down. But it is a fantastic place. As you can see, there is plenty and plenty of space here to really get away from it all. Also, my other favorite thing about a Waterstones Cafe is you can go around Waterstones, pick up the books, bring them all down here and have a good look through them whilst you're having your coffee as well. Then you can decide whether you're just gonna buy them or go to Amazon. Yeah, did I say that? Right, let's go to Covent Garden next for our next cafe place. Ah, the cobbled stones of Covent Garden Piazza. Yes, I told you we're gonna go to main places. So here, tucked away, well, not really tucked away, but within this building here, 3 Henrietta Street, which is one of the main roads that comes off of Covent Garden, you'll find there's not only a restaurant tucked away at the back, but at the front, you've got a cafe bar called Pivot. Now, I come to Covent Garden a lot, and I can't tell you how many times I've walked past this place without really noticing it, which makes it an ideal hideaway cafe. And here, we're inside. Now, I can't show you much of the inside because it's a fairly small place, but as you can see, there's plenty of places to come and sit, and people don't really want cameras in their faces. Yes, they get a bit, bit funny about that. But anyway, you come here, you can get coffee, you can get pastries, um, and also, as I said, there's a restaurant around the back as well. Oh, and there's a good toilet stop. There you go. Another one for family conveniences. Right. Let's go down the road, stick in the stick in the Covent Garden area to Bedford Street. So welcome to the lowdown, and yes, it's in this pastel coloured shop. As you can see, it's very thin and narrow, but it's right here once again on Bedford Street, which is one of the main streets which runs around Covent Garden. And as you can see, there's lots of coffee and lots of restaurant places all around. Here you can see the opening times, so it's probably a pretty much a nine to five, but it's got a secret to it, which we will show you. So as you can see, it's very small inside. There's a few places where you can come and sit, so your best bet is to keep off the peak times. And also you can get your coffee from the front window as well. Also, they do have a great selection of food, as I can testify, because I had a nice lunch. But the hidden away bit is downstairs, hence the darkness. Now, you can come down here and have your coffee and have your lunch as well. But of an evening, the lowdown transforms from being a coffee shop into sort of a place to come and eat and a little nightclub-y sort of area. And it's all tucked away down here underground. Now, one of the questions you don't need to ask is do they do good coffee? Because I promise you all of these places do. Right, Monmouth Coffee oh, on Monmouth Street, which is just off of Seven Dials. This place is so incredibly busy that as you can see, they put a wooden veranda out the front there for people to sit and there's Seven Dials. So just to prove how close we are to the center of Seven Dials. Now, often with this place, if you want to sit inside, there's a bit of a queue. If you get the timing right, as I do quite regularly, you'll get in here, get your coffee, and you can come and sit down. Again, it's another coffee shop with pastries, and there you go, as demonstrated, and I can vouch for that chocolate brownie, which is absolutely amazing. Plus, you can also buy coffee from here, which they will grind to your specification. How about that? Now, as you can see here, the time that I picked is just right, only one person waiting to be served. But if you come up around the back, they've got a fantastic bench seating area, and they bring you water up whilst they bring you your coffee. You just do it in a really lovely, relaxed way. The staff are fantastic, and I can't recommend this place highly enough if you want to get away from it all, but you got to be you got to time it just right otherwise it's busy and there you go proof of coffee and uh, one gone chocolate brownie mmm 
So that's Monmouth Coffee right to a real hideaway cafe called the Hideaway Cafe in Smith's Court in Soho. Heard of it? No, many people haven't. This is really hidden away. So the Hideaway Coffee House itself is minute, but as you can see, you've got a big seating area out the front here, and this is it. It's Smith Square, which is just around the back from Golden Square and Piccadilly Circus, but it's well worth the find because you've got little shops here and, well, <laughs> That's your entrance, that alleyway. This is the coffee shop itself. Again, another place where you can buy your coffee and they'll do it for you. You can have your coffees, you can have your pastries, and they really have got, apart from seating in the window, one big table to sit at. So it is a very, very small venue. So there's not much you can actually film in here. I can tell you that pan of raisin that I had took up the whole plate and the plate wasn't small. And now on this espresso trip around, it's time for our sixth cafe. See what I did there? I know, quite proud of that myself. Right, this place is completely tucked away. I need to get out a lot more and probably drink a lot less coffee. This is Hyde Park Corner. This is at the edge of Hyde Park, where it meets the roads of Knightsbridge, where it meets Green Park. But this building that we're coming around to here, yes, this one with the pillars, is a cafe. And wow, is it a cafe? This is fantastic. So if you're in London and you know it, you know it. So congratulations, welcome to the I Now Know It Club. So if you're coming up to London, this is a definite place you've got to come to. In the summer, these tables here in the back garden are absolutely thronging. But again, it's another place that not many people know about. The locals definitely do. And that's why they come here because it's a bit of a, a bit of a haven away from it all right at the edge of Hyde Park. And as you can see, there's Hyde Park there. And you can see the sand where they run the Royal Artillery Guard horses around. So sometimes you'll see that. And it's also right by the Rose Garden opposite the Hilton Hotel. Okay, enough of that, let's go Around and have a look inside. Also, it's worth adding that if you're looking up this place, have a look at the address. Yes, it says the address here is 1 London. Where else could have that address? 1 London, right here on the edge of Hyde Park Corner. Right, let's go in the Lodge Cafe and have a look inside. It's not very big, but what you'll find is it's a bit like Doctor Who's TARDIS. If you've ever watched Doctor Who, when you get in, it really does open up. Inside you've got a selection of sandwiches and baguettes and crisps and all the normal bits and pieces, which makes it another great place to come and get away, but also they do fantastic coffee. Now, if the weather is great, you'll definitely want to sit outside. If it's a rainy day in London, there's some hidden tables and I'm gonna show you where in just a couple of seconds, because yes, it's a very small building, but you'll see a hidden places that you can sit and eat and drink inside in just a second. And here they are. Right, where are they? They're upstairs and they're not masses of them, but believe you me, when it gets really windy and also wet, these places do fill up up here. One thing that you'll need to do is if you get up here, come and have a look out of the windows because you get fantastic views over Hyde Park from them as well. Being up high, you get a different view that you normally see. Right, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, you know what you need to do. What have you been doing all this time? Join us, we've got videos that come out so often. And if you've enjoyed the video, do give us a thumbs up as well, will you? What a real shame is when you come to London and major cities, you find places that charge you an absolute fortune for food and drink. It doesn't have to be that way. And I've got a really good video for you at the end of a church that we found that's been converted that does great food and drink. So definitely keep watching for that. So this is the back of the Lodge Cafe here at Hyde Park Corner. And just to prove it's right by Hyde Park Corner, there you go, you've got the big gates that enter into Hyde Park and we're right by Hyde Park Corner Tube Station. So, which cafe was your favourite? And which cafe should I spend even more time in than I normally do? And where you think you'll find me if you come to London? <laughs> do let us know in the comments down below. As I said, the food here is all of these is fantastic and so is the coffee. So uh, do drop in if you're in London. And I love the fact that some of these are right bang in the centre of London as well.